Building Church From Home video, we're going to talk about recording vocals. Now we know that some of you may have access to microphones, so a little bit later in this video, Simon's gonna share some top tips for that. And I'm also going to talk about what you can do with just your cell phone, um, some apps and external hardware that you can also purchase just to make everything sound better. Cell phone microphones aren't great, but they can do the job. So if you are planning to use your microphone that's on your phone, there are a few things that we just want you to keep in mind. The first thing is just to make sure that you are recording in a quiet space. So eliminate any external noise because it will pick up the sound. So make sure there aren't any fans, make sure it's a relatively quiet space for you to record. The microphone is located in the bottom of your cell phone. So you want to think about placement when you're recording. Make sure that you don't have the microphone very far away. Try to keep it relatively close. You could also invest in a tripod that will hold your phone so that just eliminates the extra hassle of having to hold onto it. There are a couple of apps that you can purchase in the app store that will help you to manage the settings of your audio. The first one that I would recommend is called Filmic Pro. And this allows you to set all of your levels before you record and it just helps you to get a better sound. The other app that I would recommend is called REC or Record Pro Video Camera. It's a lot cheaper than Filmic Pro and it still does the same job. You're able to manage all of the settings before you start recording so that you can get the best sound. Because we know that cell phone microphones are limited, your best option is to purchase an external microphone that just plugs into the USB at the bottom of your phone. The best one that I would recommend is the Shure MV88. It's a condenser mic and it has a little USB at the bottom that you just plug into your phone and it's a way better microphone than the one that's built into your iPhone. There's lots of different types of microphones that you might have access to and we use them all a little bit differently. This one's your standard vocal microphone that they'll be in most core and maybe you've been able to borrow one of those from your core while you're recording at home. One thing we need to remember is our placement of where we stand when we're recording. When we're singing into these microphones, we need to sing right into the capsule so that the diaphragm is vibrating and picking up the sound. So we wanna make sure that we're singing directly into the microphone, nice and close, so that we're picking up our sound very clearly. There are so many different types of microphones out there in a huge range of prices. This one is a really affordable, really nice microphone. It's an AKG 214, and it's a large diaphragm condenser microphone. And that large diaphragm gives you a, a richer, fuller sound to your recording and gives you a nicer capture of your vocals as you record them. So when we're recording with these larger diaphragm microphones, we wanna give ourselves a little bit more space. Between six to 12 inches is optimal, so that you're still getting a nice capture of the sound, but the larger diaphragm doesn't need to have you as close as some of the smaller directional microphones. Also a great thing to use is a pop guard. So you can mount that on the stand here that comes up and just creates a gap between you and the microphone what it does is it limits the amount of uh, hard consonant sounds that have a bit more air that put that air into the microphone rather than your sound. So your P's, your D's, your T's, all of those consonants have air in them and that can really be affecting how your sound comes out. So when you were singing to these ones, you want to be nice and close. Again, the microphone is at the height of your mouth and you sing straight into it. One thing that Rachel mentioned earlier that we really do need to be conscious of is whatever microphone you are using, whether it be an external mic or the one on your iPhone, is how far away you are from the microphone. We wanna get the cleanest sound of your voice in your recording. So make sure that when you're recording, you don't get a lot of the sound of the room around you. Uh, it may sound out of place, especially as we're putting recordings together virtually. If you have a big room with a lot of reverb in it, it may sound out of place in the recording when you put it together with everybody else's. So make sure you get a nice, clean recording of your vocals. Another really handy piece of equipment that you might want to pick up if you have a little bit more money or you're doing a lot of vocal recording is something like this. This is the Zoom H6. And what this does, it records your vocals onto a built-in SD card, or it can be sent by USB to a computer to do the recording there. The great thing about this is you can plug in via the XLR cable inputs uh, an external microphone, or you can use the microphones that uh, come as part of the Zoom equipment to do your recordings. You just put it on a stand and record just as we talked about before, but these are a really handy thing if you're doing a lot of recording or you're really looking to upgrade the ability to do some recording. 
All of these tips are really helpful, but if you're not singing properly and clearly, all of your audio recording won't really mean very much. So when you're singing for worship, make sure that you sing clearly, that you really enunciate the words, that you cut off your words in the right way so that people who are worshiping from home can worship along with you. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel under the tab Building Church From Home.